All right, so this video is about how the Bible is a manual for the elite. Now, I did this because of a comment in my comment section recently asking me whether or not, you know what I'm saying, challenging my belief about Jesus and how he's a fictional character. Now, I'm just finna explain this. Now, Jesus has the exact same story as Horus, the Egyptian sun god, and um, his mother, Mary, born a virgin, just like all of the other people behind him, the mythical fi figures from ancient civilizations, you know what I'm saying, such as Isis and Horus, same thing, you know what I'm saying, him being the son of God, bro, every time you see a picture of Jesus, you see the sun behind him, that's, they clearly telling you what it is, now it's all about astrology, you got 12 disciples, um, 12 tribes of Israel, <sighs> Bro, <laughs> I can go down the line, but it's not worth it. So we'll move on from that, and I'll move on to just how we have in the Bible the 42, I mean, really have the Ten Commandments or that are supposedly from God. Now, this lines up exactly with the 42 laws of Ma'at from Egyptian mythology. And these are laws that they've straight up stole, bro, or used as a story to give y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because... At the end of it all, the Bible is not about nothing but sun and moon worship. A little bit of moon worship. With majority sun worship. Matter of fact, a lot of moon worship as well. Because that represents darkness. So, y'all just got to realize this. I broke down Solomon and what that means. But, y'all got to realize, bro, this book is a manual for the elite. Because, if you won't challenge these things. I'm going to get into that later. Hold on. So, the Bible supports slavery. Now, if y'all can look at these things and just turn your head away from them, then that's on you, bro, because I'm just finna, if you got open ears and you listening to this, then you might as well want to listen to this all the way through. So, the Bible supports rape. We can see, bro, like, in um the story of what? Sodom and Gomorrah. The angels came to help, what was his name? Hey, Sarah, Sarah and Lot, you feel me? His wife was destroyed because she turned back and looked, turned into a pillar of salt. But Lot, he was confronted by angry people outside of the city, the evil people, supposedly. So what does Lot do? Give them his two virgin daughters and they rape his daughters. Concubines, you feel me? He gives them to them and God thinks it's okay. Man, God, the God of the Bible had babies killed. Whole city full of babies killed. You feel me? So if y'all can justify slavery, rape, and the killing of babies, then that's on y'all, bro. If y'all believe that a loving God that created you would do all of this, but yet tell you that the devil is evil, he can destroy a whole city full of babies and children, but yet he just can't destroy the devil. You feel me? So if y'all willing to believe that God actually inspired these writings, then what God are you believing in? The God they want you to believe in. That's the whole point. That's the God they want you to believe in because you'll sit back and, you know what I'm saying, play right into their agenda. Like I said, it's predictive programming. It's a manual for them. It's like they pimping y'all. You feel me? They got y'all mind fucked. Like every time I see a black lady on television or really anywhere just doing all that holy stuff, thank you, Jesus, with her eyes closed and just holding her fist. I'm like, what are y'all doing? What's really wrong with y'all? Y'all so brainwashed, you feel me? It's crazy. So, I'm just going to let y'all know this. Enki, the oldest civilization on earth, the Sumerians. Enki was the god of what we know now, the whole creator. So, he was a forgiving god. He didn't tell you to worship him. He didn't care, but he wouldn't send you to hell. Those are the things they took out of the Bible because all of these things are inspired from Sumerian texts. All of these things are inspired from, you know what I'm saying, Egypt, Egyptology, you feel me? So when y'all be talking about, about y'all get sensitive about um, fictional characters or symbolic characters of astrology, y'all got to understand this, bro. Hell doesn't exist. I already did a video explaining what hell is. You feel me? 
All of that is fear propaganda. Once you find out that, you should break free from this whole religious thing. Because that's what got a lot of y'all scared to speak up. Y'all scared of going to hell. And you know what I'm saying? Like, the stuff that's going on in America right now. A lot of this stuff is predictive programming. It's them executing. If you believe in a book and that this is all prophecy, then you won't do a damn thing. God didn't put you on this earth just to sit still. God gave you free will as in you can do something. You can create. We know destiny tuning is real. I do. I know destiny tuning is real. I know the power of the subconscious mind. Now, if I know this, then you best believe the elites know this. So they just sitting back and they letting y'all believe, oh, the serpent, it makes signs in the sky. Yes, it does. They, they realize that. But they'll play it to a point to where y'all will just believe that it's prophecy and sit still and watch y'all own, watch y'all get slaughtered. Slaughtered, you feel me? Y'all will get killed, bro. Like, what makes it so sad is that I realized this stuff in like 2011, 2012, and I used to try to tell my uncle about this. This nigga was a non-believer so much. Man, stop believing that stuff, man. You don't know what you talk about, man. That stuff ain't real. It's getting real out here. Nigga, out here in Memphis, we just getting hit with this Harvey shit. And then we got that Irma hurricane coming from the fucking East Coast. You serious, bro? A tropical storm. Category 5, I believe. Come on now, bro. They using weather manipulation. God... God is just sitting back, you feel me? God wants you to do something. This is your world. That's what they don't want you to realize. That you are here for a reason. Like, even if I believe in reincarnation, but <clears throat> at the same time, I believe that we ain't supposed to just sit here. They understand this. The people at the top are way more proactive than y'all are just sitting down worshiping. They've actually taken action. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between us and, you know what I'm saying? That's the difference between us and them is that they're actually taking action on the things they want done in society. Y'all just sit down and pray. You know what I'm saying? You can pray, you can meditate on things, but yet you actually have to execute as well. In the Bible, doesn't it say God for those, God does for those that do to them, do for themselves or something of that manner? They put hints in it. You know what I'm saying? Because they want you to believe. They put it right in your face, bro. A lot of things, like even the Elohim thing, you feel me, with the multiple gods in the Bible. Let us make man in our image. This is at the beginning, bro. Let us. Meaning it's other people around him, other gods, bro. People can't tell me nothing, bro. Can't tell me about that. So... Whenever y'all be up here making these videos about, oh, revelation is coming true, oh, oh, it's just all, nah, bro, they, they sitting back watching this shit, do you tr honestly believe that people in the position of power know that they're going to hell, that they're gonna just play the game and know they're gonna go to hell, are you serious, bro, you think they just gonna sit back and just play this game of power, knowing that they're gonna spend, quote unquote, eternity in the lake of fire, Think about that, bro. If you were in that position and you out here doing all this sick shit and then you knowing at the end like this whole shit you can't control is a prophecy and that you're worshiping Satan and that you're going to go to a lake of fire. You think you're going to continue doing that, bro? These people know what y'all don't know because they created this damn thing. The cancel of Nachia, you feel me? Where they created Jesus Christ. They took out certain things out of the Bible, like I said. With, um, what was her name? No, Justine, the prince, the queen of, ah, the wife of Justine in Rome had the, um, had reincarnation taken out of the Bible because it couldn't, you know what I'm saying? It made people believe in certain things, so they had that taken out. The Knights Templar were kicking out, were kicked out of Rome, or really the whole papacy went, went against them because they were worshiping Baphomet. Now, Baphomet, really the, um, the goat head. It was a representation of an age before. So, bro, y'all got to do y'all research, man. Y'all can't just be out here believing things without actually doing research. Jesus' birthday being on the 20th, you know what I'm saying, the 25th supposedly, even though it says something about um, during, you know, whatever y'all say, bro. <laughs> but regardless of that, what we celebrate it as is Christmas the 25th as Jesus' birthday. But three days before, four days before, one, two, three. The 21st, 
What is that? The winter solstice. It's all about the sun rising and then like moving left to right and in a perfect diagram as a cross. That's what it's all about. The sun died and came back up. Rose three days later, like in the Bible. That's what it's all about when it's talking about Jesus' resurrection. So if y'all didn't know that, y'all now y'all know. The the pick of Jesus at the um table. You know what I'm saying? At the dinner table. It's, him, it's sun worship, bro. He's in the center, just like the zodiac sign. And you have the perfect correlation between this is the dude with his hands like the Libra scale. And everything else y'all can, you know what I'm saying, figure out on your own. But that's the perfect one because in every picture, every painting of Jesus at the table, you'll see the Libra scale, him doing it. Right next to Jesus, that's the next sign. So y'all take that how y'all want, man. And it's exactly 12 people just like the signs of the zodiac. So, yeah. And y'all believe what y'all want, bro, because when they say Jesus walked on water, what, it's like the sun walking on water, the reflection? I shouldn't break that down. I'm the first person to say that. And what, turning water to wine? Isn't that what the sun does? When you plant something, water in the sun, when you plant, I don't know, I'm just talking. Maybe I'm just talking. It's up to y'all to decide. But I know this. I ain't finna be worshiping no book of which supports rape, slavery. Murder of children. I can't fuck with it. And honestly, it's just a papacy. It's these people in power that realize this. See, I'm going to tell y'all this. Some of the coldest motherfuckers I done met on earth or talked to in person were pimps, bro. Dudes with a mouthpiece that weren't like they challenged. They challenged what their belief system was. You know what I'm saying? Like they are challenged women to things. That most men would just be scared of. You feel me? Like, like, oh, no, nah, hell, no, nah, I ain't doing no shit like that. But they the ones, they out there, they got a certain belief system within themselves to where they mind control those women. You feel me? Dudes have seven girls at a time, and they all brainwashed and scared of him because of certain things they did. I'm not going to get on here and say what they do. It ain't rape or nothing, but it's it's like a mental breakdown or mind control, MK Ultra. And what that reminds me of is exactly how America treats y'all or really the world. They got y'all scared into submission. You feel me? Y'all scared to challenge anything. Motherfuckers be in church. Oh, Lord, just play. Oh, Lord, just... he not coming back, bro. No such thing. The sun comes every damn day, bro. That's what it is. He resurrects and comes right back. That's what they talking about, man. And people be... Oh, Lord, it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. The Lord got you. The Lord going to make it happen. Y'all got to stop that, bro. It's too late. And that's what makes it sad. I got off subject when I was talking about my uncle. Let me get back on subject. So my uncle, I used to tell, tell him back in 2011 when I was 17 years old, bro, this is going to happen. I told him about Bohemian Grove because I had just met somebody from Interscope. And I had a long conversation with him. Like he's an artist that's, that was signed under Dr. Dre in Aftermath in 2011. So... I had a long back and forth conversation with dude. He gave me the ISIS papers. He gave me Hiram Key. Gave me a lot of um conscious books because I, before I even met him, I was on the search for knowledge. But I just didn't speak to nobody about it because no, I felt like nobody was on my level. So we went over his house. My uncle was a producer. We went over his house and then I was just chilling and then I, I seen the books. And then I just asked him something out the blue. Like, yo, what you think about blah, blah, blah. So he, we started sparking a conversation about that and told me a lot of things I can't say on here, but that's beside the fact of things of which I've made videos about. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just say this, bro. My uncle didn't believe me then. Even with all the proof right in front of him, you feel me? The dude that's in the industry was telling him these things. Telling me them in front of him. And he just sitting there, not chiming in because, you know what I'm saying, his cognitive dissonance is too strong to believe that. So, after all of that goes down, let's zoom to now. You got all type of things happening. You got this weather modification, weather warfare going on in, um, in South Texas with Hurricane Harvey. And then you have the chemical reaction, which will make... Like, um, a shutdown of the whole state. You know what I'm saying? Texas was the only part of the country 
who who wanted to be out of the union. They call it the Lone Star State for a reason. That, like I told y'all before, they got the most guns in the country or had. You feel me? Like, I always thought of Texas as like a place where the citizens will revolt against the government. Like, they'll take them on. You feel me? On some militarized shit. Open carry. You feel me? So, I'm in Tennessee where we have open carry as well. So, shit's crazy, bro. So, I just see how people don't react to these things. I see how people are asleep to these things. I see how people won't do shit because of religion, bro. Because they think it's prophecy. That's what's so crazy about everything. You know what I'm saying? People are gladly going to FEMA camps because they believe, you know what I'm saying, if I don't accept the chip, I'll be alright. Just keep just keep my um my word with the Lord. Just believe in the Lord and everything will be okay. This chip won't affect me. I don't need the chip. I'll die with Jesus and all of that. That's what people truly believe instead of taking arms up against what's actually going on. Now, for those that don't understand, the military will be, you know what I'm saying, executing these things because they're nothing but pawns for the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and all the whole international bankers and Jesuits and Jews. That's all they are. So, if you can get that, I, I think that the plan is not foolproof. I'm hoping that it's not. I hope that the military ain't fucking dumb enough to actually, you know what I'm saying, kill their own people and put them in FEMA camps to be killed. I hope they don't think that we all fucking terrorists or believe some mili or believe some news propaganda about the people, the citizens, you feel me? But who knows? This is America. Like I told y'all before in previous videos, slaughters and massacres are a part of human history. Atrocities, you feel me? So it wouldn't surprise me. And we ain't had a slaughter or a massacre in a long time. So like I said, my, my whole goal right now is really just preparing myself for death. Because if I, I don't see myself surviving no shit like this, bro. Because there's too many dummies, you feel me? Way too many fucking dummies. So all I be listening to is like Pac, Only Fear of Death. I be getting my mindset on stuff like that or Spice One and shit, man. I can't can't chill, bro. I be telling y'all I can't chill. So this is why I be so on edge. I've been knowing these things for a while, bro. Been knowing these things for a while. Just been hard to accept for a long time. So... It's crazy, man. I want y'all thoughts on this, bro. It's a lot of other things I can touch on as well. But all of these dudes, they'll bow down as well. You feel me? Like, they won't put up a a, a fight against this shit, bro. This shit finna go so bad because I wouldn't say that. I'm not finna say that. I just hope y'all prepare, bro. But my, I'm not, this is why I didn't want to do it because it was going to scare y'all. You feel me? A lot of y'all. But... Y'all got to realize, bro, this shit is not a game. Jade Helm, 2015. So, with Jade Helm, it was like a an experiment or an operation, Jade Helm operation, to where they were running, you know what I'm saying, running little mock drills of how things would go with the military. And now they're doing it with this Hurricane uh, Harvey shit. I was trying to tell people that shit then. Nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. So even if I do die, bro, it'd be on a different dimension, man, because I just don't understand. I mean, I don't understand. I do. I really do. I do understand why y'all sleep. Because of religion. Because of entertainment. Because of celebrity worship. All of these folks put this sun worship in y'all face. All of them do. Oh, man, shit crazy. But, yeah, bro, with that being said, I'm gone, man. Peace.